Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, welcome back to Flat Tire Dan. And uh, welcome to day two of the uh, What the Hell Am I Doing in Florida tour. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the, the footage from day one. Uh, we had a blast putting it together, obviously. Uh, so for today, as you saw at the beginning of the episode, I've taken a ride over to Key Biscayne, which is one of the keys south of, of Miami here. Um, and I'm starting the day out at a state park down here for a nice hike, uh, right along the water out to a, uh, a lighthouse. Should be pretty cool. And then I'm not really sure where the rest of the day is gonna leave me, but I figured I'd bring you guys along uh, get some more footage and, and hopefully you guys will enjoy the trip as much as I've been. Um, as always, thanks for tuning in and, uh, and enjoy. Not a bad hiking path. I figured I'd wait for the breeze to settle down a little bit so you can hear me. But there's a nice breeze blowing the whole time because obviously we're on the water. Palm trees and iguanas and all kinds of cool stuff. You can't really see them. But there's these stilt houses out there. Like houses. Out here in the, I guess they call it the bay. We took a picture of this little sign explaining it probably should be right in the episode before this video. But, like, cool, I guess? It's cool, they got this little, I guess, party area. It's only open on the weekends. It's Thursday? Right, Thursday. It's pretty sweet. From this cove that comes in. Nice boat. There's that wind. <laughs> but yeah, this is all like state park down here. This looks nothing like the state parks back in Pennsylvania. Like huge catamaran after catamaran. They don't have these in state parks at home either. It's like a bar restaurant on the no name marina, right? You can sit outside on the water. But this is all in a state park. They got this outside kind of seating area, I guess, for the weekends. Yeah, you can bring your boat here, I guess. Or come by car, either one. It's pretty nice.
Okay, so again, I apologize for the wind. This is Cape Florida Lighthouse. Uh, been here a long time from what I understand. And this is Cape Florida, I guess. And that's a couple on a sweet sea dew jet ski. I guess this trip could be a little better if I had my jet ski with me, but other than that. So, having done a little more research, it appears that this was part of the Underground Railroad escape uh, in the early 1800s to the Bahamas. And they used to bring ships over and help African Americans escape to the Bahamas, escape slavery. And they built a lighthouse to try and prevent that unfortunately and this is the lighthouse keeper's house and they were very gracious to let me take some video I like his whole family lived here all This ought to be interesting.
leaving Key Biscayne on my way out of town here. I was hoping to get you some shots um, of the town itself actually, because it's beautiful, but not a whole lot to see just because everything's gated. A lot of gated stuff, a lot of private resorts and neighborhoods and stuff, which is understandable. You know, people come here to be uh, secluded. Uh, um, but great town, great people, and uh, and I can, uh, the state park was awesome, and now I can check Key Biscayne, Florida off my list. <laughs> uh, I'm actually at a little, uh, another public park on my way out of town here, kind of a marina, boat ramp, a uh, nice spot to put my feet in the water after uh, a long hike. Feels great. But on my way back to the mainland, This will get you out on the water. Private yacht. Yeah, I would imagine. Let me step back a hundred feet so I can get the whole thing in this screen. That's a boat. This thing is crazy too. How do you get the jet ski down? Like a crane or something? Not sure where Georgetown CI is. Pretty sweet though. First time it's been underwater. It's gonna be underwater a lot more tomorrow. 